So today I wanted to talk to you about an interesting phenomenon that we have where I'm at up here in Northern California. Thus my username NorCal715. I want to talk about signal propagation and wind and how it relates to especially digital TV. And as you can see we've got a little bit of wind blowing out here today. Um, they're saying approximately uh, 20 to 30 miles an hour average with gusts up to 40 to 50 today. Uh, it happens occasionally, but it is kind of rare that we get storms like this. So I wanted to show you a couple TV channels uh, up in our area real quick. Now we're lucky enough in our area here to have, we have two TV stations and they come from distances of approximately, I would say about 70 miles as the crow flies. They're digital TV stations as most everything is these days. And the problem that I see right now uh, the thing about these two stations is they broadcast simulcast, which means they have a VHF signal and a UHF signal. Right now I'm on VHF channel 9. As you can see, the signal is absolutely perfect. So I'm going to switch to the digital, uh, which is on channel 18, UHF. And as you can see, the picture continuously, uh, probably this show isn't the best to use, so let's go to 9-2, and now we're back on uh, Channel 9 Digital, broadcast on VHF Channel 9, and as you can see the signal is absolutely perfect. Now I'll go to 9-2, which is on 18-2, and as you can see the signal keeps breaking up, uh, breaks up into squares, little packets of data are being lost consistently. This only happens when it's windy. And so let's go to another station that is on broadcast on channel 7 for VHF as well as channel 34 for UHF. So this is actually 7-1. It's broadcasting on channel 7 VHF right now digitally. And as you can see the signal is absolutely perfect. There's no signal breakup whatsoever. Next I'll switch it to the UHF version of the same channel. Now this is a higher power station. This is an ABC uh, affiliate. They have more power, but I just saw a little glitch real quick. And uh, just a moment ago, there it went again. And it's breaking up. There it froze. Comes up with a sign, no signal. I'm just, um, I know that uh, based on pr past experience that uh, the wind affects UHF signal propagation, which is what we're looking at right now, channel 34. Um, let's try some of our other local channels here get through it all the way through the channel nines okay this is only on UHF this channel and it's closer to us we have an actual line of sight to the transmitter I can go out to the roof where our antenna is and I can physically with binoculars see the transmitter tower which is about 20 miles away as the crow flies it's located on a mountaintop it's about 3500 uh, feet above elevation to the base of this tower and on windy days, this is what we get. We even get this on uh, DirecTV, who uh, I don't know where their uplink is for DirecTV for this particular channel, but when the wind blows, uh, the DirecTV signal breaks up just as bad. Uh, let me see if I have anything else interesting to show you. So here's a quick shot of uh, one of the analog channels we have in our area. You can see the signal break up as the wind blows. It just keeps going from clear to... Uh, it looks like it, it is actually moving the antenna, but the antenna is actually fixed up on the roof and it's, it's stable. It's not moving a bit. But this is uh, just a sample of one of the low power or, um, I'm sorry, analog stations that we have in our area. And uh, normally on this day uh, it's, it's a very good clean signal. It has just a slight amount of snow in it, but uh, nothing like this would uh, completely lose the signal loss of sync on occasion. Oh, and this channel is on UHF as well. It's channel 17, analog channel 17. Uh, this channel is another UHF channel, and it's from about 
40, 45 miles away. It's at a good location, and we seem to actually have a better signal with this one. And I don't know if they have a higher power transmitter or what their story is, but they actually seem to have uh, a little bit better uh, signal quality in our area. I know they advertise as 5 million watts effective radiated power, and that takes into account the antenna gain, which is like an astronomical, like 60 decibels of antenna gain. So the uh, actual, I haven't done the math calculations for actual RF power up the feed line to the antenna, but they do advertise an ERP, effective radiated power of 5 million watts, which is a, it's a pretty good signal. Anyhow, I just thought I would um, ask this question to my viewers. If anyone else has ever experienced signal breakup due to wind, how it relates to UHF. I wanted to tell you a real quick story. I used to be uh, heavily into uh, scanner radios, and we had a local fire department that broadcast on UHF up in the 460 megahertz range. We had a terrible windstorm one night. And I had an outside antenna, I had a quarter wave Yagi, uh, or I'm sorry, quarter wave ground plane antenna up on top of my 60 foot freestanding tower. And um, I was using 9913 coax to feed in just to my little uh, scanner, just a little Radio Shack scanner back then. This is almost 30 years ago at this point. And a uh, terrible windstorm, and I could barely make out the fire department because of the amount of wind that was blowing. Uh, very staticky and almost sounded like they were off frequency in some way and um, just thought I would um, see if anybody else has ever experienced this phenomenon about um, signal breakup signal propagation as related to wind interference once again thank you for watching thought I'd just make this real quick video have a great day remember you can follow me on Twitter NorCal715 and um, of course we can't keep this one out of the recycle bin because it's working today but normally I would say thank you for all your views all your support try to answer as many questions as I can let's try to keep these things out of the uh, landfill and out of the recycle bin everybody have a great day